Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Today I'm going to be talking about IT Chapter 2. Now I'm going to be reading first um, what I wrote on um, my social media as a review about it and then we'll get into discussing a little bit more about it. I wrote, review time, IT Chapter 2. Now, I want to just mention that a that this was a worthy sequel and it was a solid movie overall. I, in my honest opinion, did not think that it was as good as the first one, which that is true. I didn't think that it was nowhere near as good as the first one. Um, some scenes were completely and utterly unnecessary. Um, so, not to give anything away about the movie or anything, but uh, the opening scene, for example, I think was completely and utterly unacceptable and unnecessary. And actually, um, there were three scenes where, um, three scenes where I almost walked out of the theater because it was so ridiculous. So anyway, continuing. <clears throat> um... Some scenes were completely and utterly unnecess unnecessary and did not do anything to improve the movie or the story, and in fact, there were a couple scenes that I actually felt like walking out on. Uh, that being said, the movie as a whole was a pretty good solid, or was a pretty good sequel, and I do recommend it. It had plenty of jump scares, and, I, and it brought the story full circle. It was made with quality, and that's something that's very rare, um, even by today's standards. Because um, I really do think that, the, even though this one was nowhere near as good as the first one, I do think that they made it with, um, you know, that it was made with quality. Or that it's a quality movie, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, above all else... Um, the highlight of the movie was Pennywise and the actor, Bill Skarsgård, that plays for that character. He puts many veteran actors to shame, that's the honest truth, and really captures the, the essence and the vibes and the atmosphere of the story and the style of the movie. He was phenomenal and his performance alone is worth the price of the ticket. Uh, Stephen King making a Stan Lee type of cameo was great to see as well. Uh, there were plenty, or there were so many Easter eggs paying homage to all of the different um, past Stephen King movies. Uh, if I had to rate this movie on a scale of 0 to 10, I'd rate it a solid 7. <clears throat> so, firstly, um, I want to talk about the scenes that brought this movie down because I feel like it would have been an excellent movie, if not even better than the first, if they didn't add unnecessary scenes like the opening scene, for example. Um, there was absolutely no reason whatsoever to... Okay, so I understand um, that sometimes the filmmakers put in a tragedy that happens, and then people that are res that are responsible, I can't talk tonight for some reason, that are responsible for those tragedies end up paying the price for it. Um, so, the scene opens up with the beating of a gay couple, and one of them ends up getting killed by Pennywise. Uh, the perpetrators that beat these men brutally uh, in the beginning ha have no consequences whatsoever. It is very trashy, very poorly put together, had literally zero to do with the story, um, and it was completely, uh, what's the word I want to think of here? It was... It was completely, um, they should be ashamed of themselves. It was disgusting. Um, 
and that's not even the only scene that was upsetting, upsetting and disgusting. <clears throat> Firstly, I want to point out that children, at least me when I was younger, was not as stupid as kids that are in horror movies, or movies in general, because kids are really portrayed as being stupid, really. Um, I know myself have never been as stupid as any of these kids that are portrayed in these movies. Um, I wouldn't even talk to strangers, let alone clowns, especially ones that look like Pennywise. So, the, the thought and idea, I mean, I know that this is the story that they have to tell, obviously, because it's it, and about Pennywise and everything. <clears throat> and the fear of these children is really what brings them to life and powerful. But, the scene with the girl with the fireflies in the second movie, um... That goes underneath the bleachers. Stupid. She was an intelligent girl. Any girl, any little child that is that intelligent would say, what the hell with that, and be out of there. And for some reason, she went from using her brain to, oh, yeah, no. No, you're stupid. I don't know why the writers did that. I... I it was literally useless to the story. It didn't add anything whatsoever besides you, besides turning your stomach. Um, <clears throat> and realistically, parents just don't let their kids just roam around and do that. I, I don't know. It must be uh, a different town, city, atmosphere type thing. But, um, <clears throat> I don't know. We just weren't that stupid as kids. And our parents really aren't. I, I just don't get it. I don't get what the, the writers had in mind, really. Um, especially since so many people went missing. Hello? Like... In the first movie, so many kids and so many people went missing before he was before Pennywise was actually taken down by this group of kids. And then, just because, you know, 20 years go by does not mean that people should feel safe enough to let their kids go under bleachers and roam around wherever and not even asking where the little girl is going and just paying attention to a stupid football game. Um, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. Really stupid. Um, <clears throat> and um, it was really depressing that they actually killed... Well, I can't. Um, I'm not going to say... I'm not going to um, keep spoiling this movie for people. The fact is, is that, without any more spoilers, because I only gave you two spoilers, really, um, it was unnecessary, it was cringeworthy, it was stomach-turning, it was disgusting, it was <sighs> very poorly put um, into, randomly, the story. Um, so those are really the flaws of the movie. Other than that, it really if they literally were to cut out all their stupidity that they added into the movie and they just went with the story, it would have um it would have leveled up and lifted the story to being almost as good as the first one. Now, because they added so much stupidity to this one, it's not nowhere near as good as the first one. Is it a worthy sequel? I'm going to say yes, because I have to, you know, put in my head that if these scene, if particular scenes were cut out of the movie, the movie would have been an excellent sequel. 
And I do recommend the sequel because it, um, there are really, 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 really good actors and actresses. And, you know, the director did really good with the pacing and everything. Um, the little Easter eggs and everything. Um, and references to the past Stephen King movies. Like Silver Bullet and The Shining were in there. And... You know, so so there were so many great parts that overall, as the bigger picture, what overcame the 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 flaws of this movie. Um, so I really don't have anything else more to say about it other than. Um, you know, it would be great if they changed things. It, it had so much potential to be great. And because they felt like putting stupid nonsense into it, they, they, they were responsible for their own downfall. They were responsible for them bringing down the level of quality. Um... Again, I don't know what the writers were thinking. I don't know. Um, I do know that Phil Skarsgård is an incredible actor. He is absolutely creepy as Pennywise. And it is so crazy because, like, if you watch him in interviews and stuff like that, he's a really nice guy and <clears throat> just completely... Like, it's really insane with the transformation that he goes through, and he really just gets it, literally. No pun intended. Um, like, I, I, his performance is just undescribable. Um, <clears throat> like, the first It was so amazing and so great. Um, and really... And it's not even that it set the bar. I mean, they did set the bar pretty high with the first one because they did make it so well. Um, but that's no excuse for the way that they made the second one and handled it. Um, <clears throat> I do like the character development between the adults and the way that things turned out. Um, there were, you know... There was so many wacky things, and, and and they had a lot of jump scares and everything, and, um, yeah, I do recommend it, just if you can get past the stupidity. Um, I'll be buying it when it comes out on 4K. Uh... <clears throat> So now I have to go read the book because, admittedly, I haven't read the first book yet. Or, you know, the book because it's over a thousand pages long and I do work a full-time job. So, um, I'm lucky that I even make it to the movie sometimes. Um, but, I don't know, I'm just not a clown fan, but I love scary movies, so... <sighs> Um, you know, I, I really loved Freak Show, American Horror Story Freak Show, so, like, I, I guess it depends on the way that it's done, really. Um, but anyway, uh, go check it out. It is in theaters. Um, I know that it's making a killing at the box office and everything. Uh, is it deserved? Eh. I mean, I don't think that I don't think that it should have been a box office failure, but I don't think that it should be like just outright beating the competition like it is because if it was the first one, like the first one did, it, the first one was excellent, so of course it beat out the competition, but um I just can't believe 
that the other movies aren't really putting out much of a competition to a movie that's realistically not up to par of the first one. But it's here nor there. Uh, it's, of course, based on personal taste and everything. Of course, people will see things differently and have their own perspective and view about it. Uh, but that's just what I took away from it. I think that it was a 70% job done. Uh, well, 7 out of 10 stars, or on a scale of 1 to 10, it was 7. Uh, I probably won't ever change that. Uh, this is not a movie that I don't think that I'll be repeating very many times, like the first one. Um, because the first one was just so good that you could, like, watch it over and over. And this one was just like, eh. Maybe, like, once every other year or something, it might be okay to revisit or something. But it's it's just not on my on my list of must-rewatch movies uh, or shows because there are some shows that are just, you have to, you know, that are so good that you just want to watch more and more and more. But um, anyway, guys... Um, if you have watched it, uh, make sure you let me know how you felt about it in the comment section. Um, make sure you give my video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, and, you know, if you disagree with me, just, you know, let me know even which movie you thought was better because some people might think that the second movie was better. I strongly disagree with that, but that doesn't mean, you know, everybody has their own opinion. So, you you know, that's your thing. Um, I personally thought that the first one was a million times better. And I won't ever change my mind about that one because I've watched both. So, um... Anyway, uh, have a great day, guys. Uh, have an awesome weekend, and make sure you watch the movie, and make sure you let me know what you felt about it, and, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye, guys.